Hi and welcome back to Bill Tickler Green. Today I want to talk to you about the Cryptoheros and Amatelania species, particularly the Cryptoheros cutterani. Cryptoheros cutterai, named for Mr. Victor Cutter, who was president of the United Fruit Company by Fowler in 1932. Cryptoheros cutterai, it's one of the typical members of the cutterai family. They grow to 5 to 6 inches, pH range of between 6 to 8 to 7.5, the temperature range of 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The Cryptoheros family used to contain nine species, but after a systematic revision of the genus Artocentrarchus by Smith and Soto in 2007, it now only contains four. The four species are Tuchamonensis, which was de uh, described in 2007, Cutteri, which was 1932, Panamensis, which is 1931, and Spilaris which is 1862. The Autocentrarchus just contains the Centrarchus now. Briefly, the Multispinosa, the rainbow cichlid, was moved into this family, but it's since been moved back into Heratelapia. Fish that were moved out of the Cryptoheros species family have now got their own, which is Amatelania. It includes three new species that were named in 2007. This is the Cote Pinac, the Canna, and the Sequoia. The other fish in the family are the Altoflora, Mineri, the Nanolata, the Ophasiata, which is the Convex Cichlid, Sejaca, which is the T bar Cichlid and the septum fasciata. Of this group of fish, I've currently keeping three species in the fish house, which is the Cryptoheros cutteri, the Amatelania altiflora, and the Amatelania maneri. With the cutter eye, I'm currently keeping a group of five. They share the tank with the Neotropolis Neotropolis and they form two different pairs, which are currently breeding at the same time. Also in the tank is the Madagascan rainbow fish and there's a Tetracanthus, which is one left over from a group that I've got that unfortunately have passed on. The cutter I have spawned a few times for me. The first time they spawned, I took a small selection of them to actually grow on. They're now three months old. There's about 35 of them in total, and they're now about three quarters of an inch in size. With this spawn, I've caught a few more and added them into the growing on tank. They were actually hatched on the 15th of January, which was last week. So let's see how we get on with these ones. As you can see from the video, the needs are still raising their youngsters. They're two to three weeks old now, and there doesn't seem to be much trouble in the tank. Just a bit of boisterous behaviour, a bit of um, a bit of standing up to each other, trying to protect the territories. But there's been no damage, and they all seem to be getting along fine.
Anyway, as always, you're probably fed up with me nattering on by now. So I'll bring it to a close. Let's just sit back and watch the fish. And we'll see how two pairs of cutter eye and a pair of neotropolis get a long ways and fry together in a four foot tank. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please remember to subscribe and press the bell to be notified next time I put a video up. See you all soon.